Well, there are two stories, really. How did I come to know about uh, Jeff Bourgeau, and how did I come to know about the museum? Uh, I probably got to know Jeff after he had already quite well established himself as a, an artist of note. Uh, the museum, yes, I, I was there when it was founded, if you will, and applauded it and uh, have uh, made repeat visits, of course. Conceptual work of art is, of course, something that has to be seen in uh, the context of when concept art was first uh, presented uh, in the galleries and by artists in the late 1960s. And what it meant at the time is that uh, the artist said it isn't necessary that we execute a work in uh, um, lasting materials that we make an object that has value and preciousness to it. We give you an idea in whatever form. It could be a formula on the wall. It could be a page in a book. It could be something spoken. It could even be someone's presence in a room. But we give you an idea, and you have to accept that on face value because we say it is art. And uh, it is uh, uh, possible to bring that idea from one room to another or from one year to another, and it remains alive in our minds. And at that time, the slogan that was often used was, live in your mind. Now, uh, Jeff does make us uh, live in our minds and constantly uh, check and double check what is behind it, what is he really saying, and why is he saying it? And in that in this very sense, I would call it uh, concept art. Uh, some people might say, uh, yes, but he makes objects. He puts videos in uh, objects. He uh, combines uh, objects in an assemblage manner, and uh, that goes back to that other tradition, true. His finest work still to me is the concept of a museum of contemporary art. The challenge in that concept, the political statement in that concept, and the fact that no one, no one else has done this type of thing, the manner in which he has done it, there is just no precedent for it, nor is there a parallel 